his position. Well, I mean, uh, I went through your your Facebook page there, so I all looked kinds around of stuff. and yeah. I'm crazy. I'm, I'm doing everything. That's all right. That's all right. And now we're getting ready for the Blue Ridge Rock Festival. So. I know that's going to be crazy, right? Yes, because I. I'm, I get to be on the media and photography team, so I'm excited. And Did I see you're going to interview Motionless in White? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be like... Awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Probably, probably my wife. I'll probably be... She'll, she'll probably talk to him more. Cause she's, a, she's a bigger fan than I am. With there we go. I may like introduce myself and her and let her interview him. So. Why not? Why not? Exactly. So, uh, what we'll do a lot of, so what I'm gonna do is probably take this video and then I'll cut it and edit it and put it in my YouTube and my podcast and um, and then uh, so I'm just gonna do my little intro here. Yeah. If anybody watches jumps in on Facebook Live, we'll see if they ask any questions or say anything. Otherwise, we'll just do it kind of like we're recording it for the podcast. All sounds right. sounds good to me. I'm just sharing the live right now. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right. So I'll give one, three, two, one. Hello, Gentle Peeps. This is Jack Lacey here with Gentle Peeps Creative Studios and my podcast, You Don't Know Jack's Music. And today I'm here with, I want to say, sure I say it right, Crossover. Is that the correct way to say it? Crossover. Crossover. I, I put another Z in there, Crossover. So Crossover is a band that's it's going to be very interesting for you. The crossover is a band that's never met in person. Exactly. Exactly. So we're, we're, going to, we're going to get into that and tell you a little bit more about how that band has never met in person but yet they're producing music and so that's pretty exciting um nix is here with us and uh, andy nix is the lead singer and andy's the guitar main guitarist what do they call that lead guitar oh uh, rhythm guitar rhythm guitar okay yeah and so i know that um now i know andy's wrote some music for this for this uh for some of the songs Did anybody else write i wrote uh two songs uh three songs uh, they're okay. not all out yet. We're redoing under my skin. Eventually, it's in the projects, in the projects to come. Okay, all right. So, so Nick, tell me about a little bit about you. You're in Canada, is that right? I'm in the U.S. right now. I'm in North Carolina. So okay. we will be meeting up. But I am originally from Canada, and that's why I'd never met the guys. Okay, so did you move down to North Carolina now? You're here in America for. I'm here. Pardon? I'm here, and we'll see. We're, we'll see where that leads me. For now, I'm here. <laughs> All right. I'm Welcome to America, then. All right. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And Andy, where are you at? Uh, Virginia. In Virginia. Okay, so you're right here in my state. Where I'm, we're at. I'm in yeah. Lynchburg, Virginia. Right. Uh, so this this is an area which North Carolina, Virginia is pretty close. So y'all should, shouldn't be too much longer. Y'all get together. And, Right. Exactly. Hopefully, put on some put on some shows. If I can go see y'all, I hope. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, definitely the plans for sure. Yeah. So, who else is in the band that's not here tonight? Javier is not here tonight. Javier. Uh, okay. Javier uh, produces our music. Um, he plays lead guitar. Uh, any added instruments you can hear on the track, it's him. Uh, yep. Drums is him. Like he's okay. uh, mastermind. Yeah. He's a one man band. All right. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Very cool. So he, he produces a lot of bands in Richmond. So. Oh, does he? Okay. We, I, I probably, I probably made circles. You know, I've been, to, I've been here about seven months in Virginia, so I'm still learning a lot about all the bands around here. A uh, lot of good bands. A lot, lot of lot. good bands down there. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring the heavy metal, rock, goth, cool music to Lynchburg. I'm trying to get, you know, get excited here. You know, more of it. Yeah. Uh, that's that's right. Good they got a little bit here, but I think it needs a lot more. Uh, so that's that's my that's my goal to get that that metal rock, I call it goth, whatever you want to call it, just all that death metal, speed metal. It doesn't matter to me as long as it's rock and, and right. Metal. I'm uh, right there with you, man. Yeah. So getting that here is going to be super cool because it's it's not so big in Lynchburg yet, but it's def Richmond, uh, bigger scenes. Roanoke has some scenes, but. I think we need to definitely get here in Lynchburg, which are close by this area, so you're going to be traveling through all these areas. So either one of you going to be at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival? Not stop. me. No, don't miss it, huh? I want to see uh, Breaking Benjamin and Three Days Grace, but I don't know if I'll make it. Okay, that's, that'd be a good show. Yeah. Be a good show. All right. So, Nick, so how long have you been, been in music? I mean, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. They have videos and 
pictures of me with little microphones when I'm a tiny little human. But um, <laughs> uh, seriously, I mean, maybe seven years ago, I really started focusing. Uh, I found an app called Star Maker. And um, I started making connections on there. I started focusing more on my music, competitions. And then I met Andy. Okay. Led me to crossover. Uh, I see Dylan Hargrove gives us a gives us a metal sign. He gave us a little comment there from Dylan Hargrove. What's up, Dylan? Um, thanks for coming and watching. And then Andy, tell me a little bit about how long you've been doing music. Um, I've been doing music since YouTube started, and I uh, learned a couple basic chords from my dad, and then I just picked up like my ear, just picking things up. So for a couple of years. And any 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 other bands y'all been in before? Or is this really the first one that you're jumped into, or y'all been kind of singing with other groups and bands in the past? Well, I've had know. other Go projects ahead. in hip hop and uh, singing backups for hip hop guys and rappers, and you know, like little bands here and there. But this is really the one I focused on. Like really, we zoomed into it and we really got busy. All right, Andy. Yeah, so I haven't had any other bands. Uh, I got offered a position for Hateful Bones, but I couldn't do it. So I had, they wanted me to pick up their music, and I couldn't really get it. So it didn't really work out. But yeah, you know. So, but you know Hateful Bones, right? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of a lot, a lot of bands I've heard of that. A lot of times I've heard a lot of names I know from music, and I remember a song from them. And just the opposite, sometimes I hear songs, I'm like, oh, I love that song, and I have to go look who, who sings it. So that's definitely, a, a, you know, music, I love music, period. So I'm listening, I'm like, oh, I love this. I gotta go check it out and see who it was. Or I say, yeah. I love that, I love that band. I mean, you know, I, I can remember which song they sing, and, and it's always a challenge because I hear so much and like so much different types of stuff. Um, yeah, those guys in Hateful Bones, they're really talented, so. Yeah. Now, I did the, the speaking of talented. So when Nick's was on her, you got on y'all's little y'all's uh, Facebook page. You're doing some some singing like it's like you're starting out. You're talking about something, and then you do a. Oh, it's like I can't sing, so don't let me don't make me do that. But <laughs> but uh, I feel you. I can't sing either. She has a you have a fantastic voice. So thank you so much. Natural, or has that been from learning or education or? self-thought i never took a class i never i mean with youtube today you can pretty much you know figure out everything i can fry scream i can right. and it's all self-taught by youtube um that song comes from that application star maker monthly there's a influencer contest and okay. i've been winning it like three months in a row now so it's it's oh. little contest, you know. It's like a small, well, small-ish community. It's worldwide, so it's pretty cool. Well, what's it called again? Star Maker. Star Maker. So you're on there, and people vote for you. Yeah, yeah. People like your videos and share it. They comment. They can gift. Okay. You have like a hundred thousand followers on there too, or something like that. Fifty-six thousand. Fifty-six thousand. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people that have way more than me. Like I've been on the app seven years, so you know, over the yeah. years you accumulate your All your right. following. So Yeah, your your people who are interested in the same kind of things you're interested in. That's it. That's it. They need a they need a video photographer or thing like that. Man. <laughs> right? Absolutely. I, I, I'm like I'm, I'm every time I get a new follower, I'm like, woohoo, I got a new follower and uh, so when I when I actually got my YouTube page I got up to I hit the thousand followers. I was just like, just I was just like, wow! I'm amazed I had that many people that have actually watch. Oh, then we lose Andy. Andy, yeah, we lost Andy. He told me to, he wasn't driving. Why he was down there? Was he? No, he wasn't. He might have just lost connection. <laughs> he just driving and went off the cliff. Poor land, Andy. We 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 really liked you. I'm sorry you're. you're oh laughing. no, Andy, you're gone. No. Uh, so I talked to him. So what? The songs are on there right now. I think that one of my. And we took me and Andy talked that one of my favorite ones was uh, was a stranger. Yep, that's uh, written by Andy. Yeah, and he told me he, he wrote that, and I actually saw his time he sang it. I watched his video where he sang it, uh, and uh, uh, it's very interesting, very neat. I'm, <laughs> Uh, he's not um, he's not a singer, but he's a great composer. I it's, mean, very, it's very it's very melancholy. It's kind of it's a different kind of vibe to the song. But yeah. it's definitely when I was listening to you know on uh, 
if you're on Spotify, you can cross over, cross over you can look, you don't have about, I guess about five singles on there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we got five singles. So on that, so on, we're my family and people I know, all big Spotify people. So you go on there and follow on Spotify and you, and you, and you put them on your likes and you listen. Well, we're lucky. We're on all major streaming platforms. So I know a lot of people use Amazon Music. We're on there. We're on Pandora. So we really released our music everywhere. Exactly. Andy, try to do it again because I tried to. I was trying to let you join and it, and it kicked you off. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Right, try that, Andy. Try that, Andy. Let's see if this works. So Andy's come back on as, as himself now. <laughs> Andy, are you there? He's still having trouble. We lost Andy. Hey, Steph, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Ronnie, how's it going, Ronnie? Ronnie's a rocker. He's just see all rock sound and stuff. All right, we're trying to get trying to get Andy back on here. If we can ever get him to let's see. Uh, let's see. He's still not. I don't know what happened to him. He's having he's having difficulties. So he's wait, lost. So you so how many? So you have some new songs coming out, right? So you said. Uh, uh, we're going to be working on "Black Out the Darkness," which is right now. Uh, it's already released, but we have an acoustic version coming. Okay. Oh, so tell me about acoustic. So who? How do y'all do that? Do, you, do they record it first, and then you come and sing? How does that work? All all of the songs is usually that way. They usually record the music. Well, Andy records the guitar, sends it to Javier. Javier puts up just a basic drum just to keep the time for me so I can start writing lyrics and give the feel of the song. And after I'm done layering all my layers, I give it to my producer, to Javier. And he puts everything together and then adds little touches of magic here and there. I mean... Um, a thousand times would be the one where I think was the most like it, it's it's like the fairy tale project like uh, we had an image for a video it was just we have to meet up to make a video um, but that was my baby um, so I got that one I got forgotten memories that are released and Andy wrote the three other ones uh, welcome back Andy hey I don't know what happened I just got kicked out Random. Yeah, it happens. Facebook is crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. yeah, a thousand times is her baby. Like she, uh, she wrote that like about long distance relationships, right? Right. Yeah. You... yeah and then Stranger's my baby. So, <laughs> yeah, I even got the official copyright on my wall for it. So, that's done. There you go. Cause I, I think somebody commented on that that they want to know if they could use it for their band or something. Is what I saw on the YouTube. Uh, Video you were oh, saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody did a metal cover of Stranger. But that, yeah. that was a little while ago, but yeah. Well, it's always cool when somebody wants to use your music or your song or, or anything like that. It's definitely good. So, Forgotten. So, tell me, who, who sang Forgotten Memory? Who wrote that one? I wrote that one. That one you wrote that one. Great words in that one, right? So, I, I like Thank that. Thank you. Thank I you. Love, uh, um, so, what do you consider your metal, but what are y'all consider a certain type of metal? Because, you know, like I said, there's so many different genres. We cross over. I mean, that's the name crossover. We cross over in all those rock metal genres. Uh, we can't stick to one. We all have such a different influence in music that we kind of try to mesh everything together. I'm in this moment, Evanescence. Mm -hmm. uh, Javier is Dream Theater. Mm -hmm. And then you have Andy, who's what? Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace. Let's see? Uh Considered them indie. Amanda, Amanda Boo, how's it going, Amanda? She says she considers them indie, indie rock, right? Now, so kind of, so I've heard different things here. So a lot of times they say I'm indie rock, it means you're an independent artist, right? Yeah. Oh, but there's also an indie type. Is there an indie type of music too? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. But but you are definitely indie, you're definitely indie, but an artist for sure. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. Alternative rock. I would say alternative rock. Alternative rock. There you go. Because I've I, heard punk influence i've heard there's everybody i'm like i i don't want to put us in the box right. so right. whatever you think we are i mean well, I did, we I are, did, you know i did get the evidence um, i did i did get that it was, and so that was that was cool i like that nothing wrong with that um but yeah so i started out years ago when i was a kid 
skateboarding, you know, I listened to The Cure and Depeche Mode and then, you know, Metallica at the same time and, you know, so all that said, but I was considered yeah. at all, you know, in a, in a, in a genre to itself that, because so many people want to listen to those different types of music, but they're like, you know, like, oh, I'm all about death metal. Well, no, you're not, but you like this other band and they're rock or they're... Well, I think especially right now like when we do competitions and stuff there's always like the genre competitions and it's like okay do a rock oh okay but am i am i allowed to sub genre in my rock and i can i go like indie rock pop you know like there's so many so many sub genres now that it's it's you could fit into like 20 categories and i think and that's yeah, really that's true bands like that that you know that, that have that ability to kind of Go, they don't want to be labeled into one, kind of like Amanda said. You're that's crossover. That's y'all's band name because you do crossover into different ones. So that's that's a, exactly that's a beautiful way to say that. What are you saying, Andy? Oh, I was just saying we're alternative rock mainly. I would say, but that's that's about it, really. Right. Yeah. Alternative. So I don't know about y'all. So back in the day, it used to be we were called New Waivers, and then they were called skaters and then they were called you know punk and goth and it's just over the years it's, it's different words but it's all been the same thing so uh, exactly that's kind of the way i look at it too started out favorite singer in all time when i was young elvis presley started rock and roll you know and then uh then you get to the point now that now some of my favorite singers right now is ghost i love to listen to ghost um so i was like you know you have your your different genres but that, again all of it's still just the type of music i like but so if you think if you're if you you're meeting up and you are definitely writing your own music, so it's all your own your own. Uh, you're not doing covers or anything like that. Um, so that's going to get you to be like somewhere at Blue Ridge, something like that, some festivals and stuff in the future, right? That's right. what we're, I mean. We're hoping. I mean, it's the dream where we can bring our music onto the stage where you know. Um, reach more people with our music i think i personally think every song we write has a message that's important to us so if yeah. we could reach at least one person with that song i mean multiply that by maybe a hundred if we make to a festival or a show you know so it's it's there's a lot of reasons to want to do but the world we live right that's that's what you're talking about people you know wearing the mask and and this yeah. is we live in now black lives matter the blm I, movement exactly yeah, all of yeah. that i watched the video on that it's just it's, it's, it's very touching very cool because it is the world like it changed so fast like it's always changing fast you know but yeah you know, in the last years it seems like it just a years. flash and everything's just different life is just so much different it's because it's, nope. it's cherished different right we have a disease that's you know yep uh, uh, you know, a virus that's you know hurt and killed many people, and and I don't know if, if you've had if you've had uh, uh, the virus. Uh, I just lost the name of it, Corona, uh, whatever it's called. Um, I had I had it for a week, and I, I, it was horrible. So it's like, right. you know, it's, I'm one of the lucky people that I haven't got any strain of it. I haven't, and know? I traveled. I took the plane. I and I just I'm lucky. I'm just. Uh, I had it, it was miserable. So. You know, and there, but there's people who get a lot worse. Like I, three or four days, I'm, I was good. But yeah, but my my, you know, my mom was on a breathing machine for eight weeks. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. So yes, yeah, some. You know that world we live in. People like this, we're a flash in the pan. So should, shouldn't why can't we get get along? Why can't we you know yeah be a better better people to each other? No matter what race, gender, color, nationality. Exactly. Religion. Yeah, that's what that song's about, man. Exactly. That's that's what I felt from it. So I like I, I, lo I love that because that's exactly what I felt from it. That so, one was from uh, Andy and your wife, right? You and yep. your wife wrote that one I wrote together. The, I wrote the chorus. She wrote the rest. So very nice. It was great. Great writing on that one for sure. And, and it, they gave me the lyrics, and I had uh, we had a competition on Star Maker to find a featured singer, which is Nikki Harms, Nikki Wright, that sings with me on that song. Right. Yeah, I saw that. She sounds amazing. She's in the she UK, so we even like, you know, the international band went like even further with the UK. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I did see that. I didn't. Know who, I didn't know who that was. I didn't know if she was a backup or if it was how that how she matched in that song. So y'all just the featured winner of a competition that we did to get a bit more hype. You know, you got to do stuff to be able to 
put your name out there. And especially during COVID, there wasn't much we could do. Right. So we took everything we could just to get our name out there. Just to... yeah. That, that wall has definitely got a lot of exposure. A lot of yeah. Oh. It def it led us to magazines and stuff like that, interviews and all that. We got like three magazines we were in, and um, you know, we love doing those too. So thank you. I think you showed me one of them. So yeah, the magazines. Yeah, very very cool. Um, so just out of curiosity on this kind of thing, um. You, you put out the singles on Spotify, and um, so how quick is do you think are your next single will be coming? When should people be looking for your next single? Um, I'm hoping to work on Blackout the Darkness Acoustic towards the end of the month. Um, cool. Like I told Andy, I don't want to rush too much. I don't want to... Uh, our songs are not... They're out there, but they're not even out there. There's still some people like that I can reach to, and they're like, crossover? You're yeah, in the yeah. band? And I'm like, were you? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, yes. Listen, it's. I think it's worth it. I mean, you know, give us a listen, and yeah. uh, so it's it's good to mass produce like songs and songs and songs. But I, I'm afraid that the important messages in our songs are gonna get lost if we start just mass producing songs. You want you want to get it out there, give it time to soak in, and people enjoy the the meaning of the song and. The, and uh, and then the, the, I call it the spirituality of the, the, yes. the of the of the music is with the voice and the instruments, all those things I can't do. That's why I love doing photography for music musicians and talking to them because I can't sing or play. So this is my my thing is to is to interview them and to, and to photograph them because that's uh, it's your contribution to the art. It's perfect. Yeah. We yeah, really cool man. Huh? I said that's cool that you get to photograph them dance dude that's awesome oh yeah i mean i just it's just everywhere i go i, I think about it it's one of those things that just like you do you, you go somewhere like people never heard of about you and you're like look crossover here's my music come to spotify so i'm out I me mean, same thing i'm out somewhere and somebody says so what do you do i go oh here's my photography see right here follow mm -hmm. my <laughs> exactly it's, exactly. it's all, all about networking and getting your name out there to people and it's like you know y'all had it i saw an interview y'all had with another uh indie i forgot what it's called Indie room. Indie music room. Yeah. So that's the thing is you get on, y'all get on here and do these interviews so that, you know, you're going to touch a different type of people maybe didn't see you somewhere else. And, and, uh, yeah. And the whole, that's the whole point. It's how everybody gets started in one form or fashion is, is just that networking. And, you know, that's you, why we take every opportunity. There's nobody too small and there's nobody too big. Uh, uh, I've, we've had interviews with, people that were just starting to do interviews. Yeah. And you look at them today. Who is it, Andy? Uh, what's their name? And there was Erica Fox that was doing the ladies' night yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, the sound. The sound, the sound the was situation. like it was smaller when we interviewed with them, and now they're everywhere. So. Yeah, that's true. One of, my, one of my band friends, Christy Mayberry, on here. She's a, a band here in, in Lynchburg, uh, Blackbird Medicine. So check them out. I see her watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, absolutely thanks for watching yeah but uh yeah so i think that definitely it's the same thing it's just that you're gonna you're gonna have that i love the fact that your name is kind of jumps in with what you do because i actually when i first read it i was thinking it was, it was crossover and i was trying to kind of figure it out <laughs> crossover everybody so, does that but that's you know that's fabulous that you have a name that that means something to you and uh and it also means something like to your music if people understand it like you had I guess that was one of your fans a while ago, or one of your people a while ago, telling us you know, they were, I can't remember, Boo, who was Boo, last name Boo, I'm not sure. Amanda, uh, yeah. Yeah, so she's like, they're indie, they're, they're great. She, so it's good to have, <laughs> it's good to have those people that love to, to come and, and support you and do things like that. Um, while we will, uh, also, so the songs are on there. I saw that y'all have, real quick, so uh, you're, uh, you have an official merch page where you can buy some shirts. Yes. What I'll do is and when I make a YouTube in my video, I will, Nix is my girlfriend. She's your girlfriend. <laughs> she, is this where I moved? Oh, my God. Yes. yes that's <laughs> my oh. I've got some shirts and things that people can buy. Yes. Uh, they're on Apple Music, TikTok, Pandora, Instagram, Spotify, Amazon Music. Y'all have a website, and of course the Facebook that we're on now. There's a y'all have a Facebook page. That's yes. all. Yes. 
that's all in their link tree. So when I make the YouTube and stuff, I'll put that list there, the link tree. That way people can appreciate it. Find you where Thank they you. want. So um, anyway, uh, other than that, I just kind of want to touch base with y'all and do a little interview about what, you know, kind of what y'all do. And um, I think people just definitely, if you watch this, because I'm going to repost it as soon as we're done live and then you can, they can watch it anytime. But go check out their their music. Definitely check out all their songs. But you know, if it, of course, if you're me, go check out Stranger because that was like that's the way that song started out. I was, <laughs> I was already like, here we go, here we go. And uh, oh, yeah. but yeah. but uh, forgotten memories in the world, the world we live. Great, you know, words about the song and everything. So great job to y'all. And uh, when y'all get to the first point where y'all are actually can go play somewhere, let me know so I can come take some photos and do some. Stuff. Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. Hey. One more thing I want to tell you, that song Stranger was written about how when people only come around when they want something, basically, unless it makes them strangers in your life. You know right. what I mean? Oh, yeah, you know those, you know those people. Say, hey, I haven't seen you forever. What do you, what do you need? What do you need? Uh, mm -hmm. Now I see you. Yeah, what, what do you need now? What can I help you with? Yep. Exactly. Exactly. All right, very nice meeting you both. And uh, we'll put this on there. I'll keep in touch. And, again, if y'all are, are going to be somewhere, let me know so we can come see you. Absolutely. Much Bye, appreciated. Nice meeting y'all. Bye. 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 Later.